Hey, hello again everybody, Santa Claus here in Dingalan Aurora, Philippines, Rangai Matawai. Yeah, we're in the mountains here. And uh, some of the roads are not good. So I'm really uh, happy before I moved here. I was in Batangas. Really happy I bought these tires before I moved here. So this is a quick update on my Arivo tires, Arivo Rock Track MTs, mud terrain. Uh, I just wanted to give you a, like a, it's been nine months since my video and it's still getting a lot of views and you're probably curious of how, uh, how they're, how they're doing. Uh, I, I promised a 5,000 mile review. But I probably haven't gone 5,000 miles yet. It's maybe like, maybe 3,000. And uh, real, real happy with the tires. Let me just show you real quick. So uh, as you can see, they're real dirty. The whole truck is dirty. Have them on the Ford Ranger Wild Track 2015 model. In uh, chili pepper orange. And I have them on the uh, Raptor wheels. These are the original Ford Raptor wheels. Um, I took the uh, factory wheels off and sold them. Actually, the factory wheels were 18 inch and these are 17. But I like them a lot better. Uh, this is what they put on the, uh, the Raptors. Or at least they used to. I don't know about the brand new ones. But these are uh, LT265 70 RT. Uh, very nice tires. Again, a Revo Rock Trek MT. Take a look at the tread. This is, like I said, probably around 3,000 miles. I know it's hard to see. It's the sidewall. You get the, like, uh, Panther sidewall. Uh, let me show you the front a little bit. Really, not much wear. Um, they don't make a lot of noise on the highway or on the main roads. Just a real quiet, like little whisper kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it. But uh, if, if 10 was the most quiet and 1 was the loudest, this is probably an 8, I would say. If you go 8 out of 10, I'll show you the back ones. This is a 4x4 four four vehicle. There's the back. I have not even rotated these at all. Still on the original positions. Uh, I don't, don't think they need to be rotated yet. Maybe the next time I change the oil, I might do that. But, um, just real happy with it. Uh, let me show you all four, I guess, while I'm at it. Passenger side rear. No problems. No flats. They look brand new to me, if you ask me. Passenger side front. Maybe the fronts might have like a little more wear. Probably will rotate them the next oil change, just to be sure. But, the, like I said, not much to really tell you. I just wanted to tell you that I am happy with them. And I think if you buy them, uh, you will be satisfied. If you're a hardcore off-roader, hardcore, and you do it like every weekend or something, I don't know, maybe you want to step up. I see a lot of off-roaders come into this area, and they're all running the good years. Uh, some are running the all-terrains. Some are running the uh, mud terrains, but uh, it's kind of up to you. At the Goodyear's cost uh, three, four times as much. I don't think it's worth it. 
because if you're paying if you're paying three four times as much that means you can buy three four sets of these for one set of good years uh, I know Goodyear has the big name but I don't think they're worth three four times as much I don't even think they're worth double if I can buy two sets of these for one set of Goodyear I'll buy two sets of these and just run them run them down but uh, I, I don't do that much really really off-roading just uh, my off-roading is just coming to home and leaving because like I said the roads here some of them are not good there's uh, two or three portions of the main road here they call it the highway it's not a highway to me but uh, that's what they call it <laughs> and uh, they're just it's just bad it's not paved yet they're working on it they said maybe two years before it's all complete but if you guys have ever come to Matawai here it's a uh, resort community it's a beach town but um, it goes right through the mountain and there's two really bad sections uh, maybe three that uh, I'm really glad I have off-road tires but I see all kinds of cars coming through here little cars too pieces of junk and my wife even takes her VOs through there but I tell her be really careful I wouldn't I would not do it if I didn't uh, didn't have this truck I would not be taking a Vios or a Honda or whatever through here um, Honda City whatever they call them here and I see all kinds of little cars come through here but I'm real happy with these tires and uh, if you guys have any questions about them that I haven't answered already um, you can watch my first video I think I mentioned the price I think I paid uh, in dollars maybe a hundred and twenty dollars per tire um, what's that pesos I think I paid like I don't know six thousand pesos a tire maybe seven uh, mounted and balanced and uh, four-wheel alignment included all that stuff when I was in Batangas you can uh, watch my first video it's it's still getting a lot of views that's why I decided to do this one just wanted to update you guys on the on the uh, on the Arrivo tires uh, a lot of you are curious some of you have uh, messaged me um, so I just wanted to get back to you, let you know. And any other questions? I hope you're watching the rest of my videos on where I live now. Here in Aurora, Dingalan. And uh, how I've built, my, built this place up to become a uh, campground resort. And we're still working on it. Just like they're still working on the roads. <laughs> it's an ongoing project. But I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them. I, get, I answer everybody. Even if your comments are, are not pleasant to read, I, I still answer them. I don't mind. But if you like these videos, uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a positive rating. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you guys are just tuning in for the tires and not interested in anything else I do, uh, Go ahead and subscribe anyway. I'm trying to build my channel so I can help other people here in the Philippines. I give people jobs. I do everything I can to help the uh, the less the less fortunate, let's say. So uh, please help me out by subscribing. God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. Santa Claus over and out.